So ChatGPT5 just dropped, and its capabilities are pretty ridiculous. Now, I'm no coder, but seeing people build full applications in just hours is insane. Sam Altman even claims it's the most powerful AI model right now. So we get it. It's a powerhouse. The thing is, I'm speaking in front of my team soon, so instead of using it to vibe code an app, I figured I'd put ChatGPT5 to the test to see if it can create a killer presentation. And spoiler Spoiler alert, the results were amazing. I'll be using ChatGPT5 to create a presentation so good, you'd think McKinsey made it. Before we jump into ChatGPT5, let's take a quick step back and break down the six key components that actually make a McKinsey-level presentation. First up, structure first, slides later. McKinsey has this approach they call SCQA. Situation, complication, question, answer. You ever remember doing that one all-nighter for a class presentation and you're like just adding one topic and then another topic and then another topic hoping it all comes together? Yeah, we might have gotten away with that in school, but for McKinsey, nah. -uh. For them, the slides are just there to support a story not the other way around. Next is the pyramid principle. Always lead with your main takeaway and then back it up with structured arguments and data. Oh, and did I mention one key message per slide? Then there's Mies thinking. Wow, that's another acronym. Let me help you remember that. Mies means mutually exclusive collectively exhaustive. That just means no overlap and no gaps. It forces your logic to be super clean and professional. Here's another big one, clarity over creativity. McKinsey decks aren't about flashy animations or crazy designs. You're not trying to create a viral video here. They're about simplicity, consistency, and structure. Stick to clean fonts and minimal colors. Everything should be functional. And of course, data-backed insights. So instead of saying, this device has five gigabytes of storage, say, it can carry 1,000 songs. Don't just throw numbers on a chart. Clarify the practical implications. Every chart should highlight the insight behind the data. Finally, slide titles are headlines not labels. Imagine you're presenting a report in a room full of investors and you turn to the slide and it just reads revenue. Boring. But what if the headline read revenue grew 12% due to product X? Has more of a ring to it, right? That way, even if someone's already say halfway through the presentation, they'll be like, huh. Oh, okay, uh, I see where this is going. So now that you know the key ingredients of a McKinsey-level deck, let's see how ChatGPT5 can help us actually bring this to life. All right, so first thing before we get to the slides, let's cover image generation. Let me paste this very rough prompt, ask ChatGPT to improve it, create a professional side-by-side -side comparison of it. Yeah, this is very detailed stuff. So let me copy this, pasted it into a new chat. So we're asking ChatGPT to create a side-by-side -side comparison, like a before and after look of a webcam. Look at that image to the left. All right, what is this? It looks like it's a 3D printed clay stone prototype and the one on the right looks like a webcam that I might actually use. But what if we wanted to enhance an existing image? So I have here a photo of an old pair of scissors taken with my phone, and I told ChatGPT to make the shot cinematic, almost like this product is the next big tech product. And look at that. Look at how polished and shiny and professional it is. The lighting is impeccable. I don't know what that is. I don't know if it's still a pair of scissors, but I would buy that. Okay, so clearly ChatGPT5 is incredible for creating professional images. But what about the slides themselves? Now, I don't know about you, but my slide layouting skills are horrible. I couldn't come up with an amazing slide layout, so I just made this slide, which really looks more like a document. I took a screenshot of it, and I fed this to ChatGPT. I asked it to make another prompt, and I made sure to mention that it would be in a McKinsey style. And you guys Mies right here and look at that this is what we got this is just so professional it's like you're launching the next big product now if improving slides isn't enough you can always create entire slides from scratch so let's say we want a professional McKinsey style slide about the benefits of playing tennis 
So I entered this prompt, again making sure to mention McKinsey style clarity, but with modern visual impact. And this is what it came up with from scratch. Okay, so we've seen ChatGPT create all of these amazing images, but there is a limitation. If you ask it to create images, they're fantastic. But if you ask it to make downloadable slides, you get errors like file is too large, or you get weird overlapping text, or if it looked like an amazing slide on ChatGPT, you'd lose all the icons and gradients and effects. So ChatGPT is amazing for AI image generation, but when it comes to AI slide generation, it's going to need some help. For that, we're going to use PictoChart, which is an incredible tool for creating presentations using AI. All right, so let's go to the AI-powered visual generator and create a pitch deck. So here I have a prompt from ChatGPT about a solar company pitching to a condominium. And first we got to go to presentation, select pitch deck, and select generate pitch decks. Okay, so as we can see here, the prompt was applied across PictoChart's vast layout library. This one looks really good. You have some actual solar panels here. It's close to finished. Now we can upload an image that we created with ChatGPT, or say we can actually select change image right here, select inspire me, then generate image. And now we have a new AI generated image right from PictoChart. Let's use that. From there, we select save and edit pitch deck. From here, we can actually add a page and I'm gonna go to my uploads. I already uploaded this image and this one here came from ChatGPT. And there you go, that actually blends in quite well. And with a bit more polishing on PictoChart, this is practically going to be a finished presentation. So let's say we're done and we wanna download the presentation. We can select PNG, PDF, or PowerPoint. Let's select PowerPoint and download download PowerPoint. So ChatGPT makes it easy to generate stunning images. And with PictoChart, you can instantly turn them into professional looking presentations. But just because you can create a great presentation doesn't mean the next time you present is going to be perfect. If it's been a while, you'll probably want to brush up on your presentation skills. So if you click here to check out the next video, you'll learn five techniques that you can use in your next presentation to speak with more confidence, get your message across better, and totally captivate your audience. I'll see you there.